Um, yeah, one third is spent on the bed. Out of which, in about out of that one third, maybe uh, twenty to thirty percent is spent watching images, which we call as dream, and then the rest is slept in, uh, you know, spent in uh, deep sleep, which is called nidra or sushupti. So, in in our terminology, they call it as three different states: is jagrit, our that we are in, then we have swapna, and then we have sushupti, and then of course they talk of a higher state of seeing, which is called turiya, Vedantic terms, other terms. So, it's a higher state of seeing. You never switch off. So question is, what do you do after seeing? Why do you do not do anything Yeah, interesting. So, we'll try and stay awake because we don't have a, yeah, to make up for whatever, you know, use time. Um, I was once taking, we, we stayed at a center one uh, for, for about a year and a half. So we ran a three year program where people come to study the darshan. It's uh, more for youngsters. We typically prefer unmarried people. Um, it's a three year full time program. You can take the first year, the second year or the third year. So in about a year and a half, they cover the entire text and then you have other activities. So you learn living on the farm. So you basically, it's part of a practice. So uh, I wouldn't say practical outside in the world. But basically, you learn farming, uh, you know, some amount of dairy. You also learn to organize and kind of take care of activities like this. And also, there are formal classroom sessions. So, how many people will sign up for something like this? And ek saal kon deta hai? Seven days, ten days itself is like a big deal. Uh, this year, of course, they have eight or ten people. Most of these students are students uh, whose parents have done the workshop many times. And they feel we've missed the bus. So, let our children at least get the chance. So, they send their children there. So in one of the sessions that we, uh, what, when I was there, when I was uh, kind of uh, whatever managing it, we had three students only. It's a huge hall. It's a hundred seater hall, and there were three people. Okay, so we were all sitting in one corner. So I said, "I sat up, better at least it will feel like we are taking a class." You know, one one section me better ho to, so two idhar ho gaye, one idhar ho gaya, right? So then I would, and one of them was very young. His father was a pujari somewhere, and unko kuch paise ki avashakta thi, and he was paid a monthly sum and he said, I can do this. He said, I can do this session. Ke liye. We don't have students. So he sent his son. So this poor chap, he was, uh, he had just passed 12th standard and he would feel extremely sleepy, right? Because his father had told him, I can go there and sit for one year. That was the deal. <laughs> so uh, he would, uh, I would start talking and he would start sleeping. I mean, when it started, look, switch off. So, I said, I am going to go to the mood and you will wake up. So, what happened is every four minutes she was getting up and going to the bath, you know, to the bathroom. Because he would, the moment the water dried off, he would start sleeping again. I said, I am going to get a mug of water, you know, keep a cloth and then just keep putting it on your face. I said, Your job for the next one year is to learn not to sleep. When a session is going, forget what is happening in a session and how it's useful for you. <laughs> you have to start with learning not to sleep. What was his name? I forgot his name. Ah, he's cute chap. Uh -huh. Sleep mind se bhi hota hai. We also switch off when we are not interested in the subject. Second is uh, when we are interested in the subject, but when the message that is coming is against what I believe it should be. That's the second condition for switching off. The third condition is of course physical. Body itself is so tired that then then it's very hard for the mind to keep it awake. Uh, the body takes over. Children go off to sleep very quickly. My daughter, she spent the whole day like today. It's like a, this is their natural state of being, not in a classroom for eight hours. Classroom hona chai, maybe three hours. Outside, they're running and playing and running and playing. They'll come have dinner. They'll put her head down. And in seconds, you can hear the deep sleep. They want it to like deep nidra, like deep sleep, like in seconds. You can hear that long. Yeah, so this was part of the, um, you know, the, the 
the thing that we sent the one page poster inviting people for the workshop i took it just took a snapshot of that and put it here so we didn't what of what are our concerns what are our issues here are some broad set of so you have relationships and conflict parenting is a big thing for those people who are struggling with parenting uh, most for most people like for my parents i don't think parenting was ever an issue i mean it was a norm that unko bolna hai humko sunna hai aur if you don't listen you will get shouted at and that's the end of it so there's it's not an issue at all it's not something to be discussed like in my father's generation <laughs> the only solution to not listening was you listen otherwise you know they make the body listen um there's partiality there also i got beaten up a lot more than my brother did because my uh, brother looked closer to my father's mother than i did later on when i studied the darshan i understood why my father did that yeah so um so parenting and education again uh, how many of us feel education is a problem the way it is today most of us lot of us uh, it is derailed what do you think is the answer this is a question that we have there are existing solutions sufficient what do you think is the answer to the problems in education one is what are the problems in education if we even identify them lot of yeah too many students in the class unko mic de dijiye a wired mic it started working i asked him how did it work he said kuch nahi char panch baar aise aise kiya it started working It's probably a ha mai ki sorry okay i'll help you <clears throat> yeah so too many students so that is one thing we have 60 or 100 but what else even if it is not reaching to not reaching to reality okay so one is we have too many people so the first problem is a simple one it is a teacher student ratio right what is the second one not reaching reality but what in reality is it not reaching because we are studying reality probably more than we studied earlier we are studying hydrogen sulfide we are studying protoplasm you are studying amoeba you are studying angle of banking you are studying calculus statistics it's all part of reality material reality right we're studying engineering that's how our boiler works it's based on some very good engineering pressure calculate kya it doesn't blast that's how your intake you know uh, internal combustion engine works is good engineering i mean all of us use an ic engine to get here all of us yeah it's all mathematics matter okay so material reality so let's also look at the what good also why only say the things are wrong then we end up painting a very pessimistic picture of our lives and there's enough pessimism around anyways so material reality is good but you're saying the other parts of reality are missing like what consciousness and and functioning of our thinking thought processes yeah and a request if anybody again it's a bit of a painful request uh the uh, camera has been designed in such a way it will only pick up whatever is said to the mic so not for you but for those who would like to listen to it later you'll have to just reach out for the mic when you're talking yeah anything else i'll repeat what he said and from then on so this part is missing or saying consciousness thought okay i'll leave it there what else present education system is basically focused upon the material entities okay uh, all kinds of materials so that is physical matters consisting of atoms molecules proton neutron electrons and the consciousness part uh, as uh, 
uh, Mr. Devi Prasanji said, that is really missing and that is the basis of everything, human living also. And the power of imagination, that is a miracle given by the nature to the human beings only, the power of imagination. So, it also requires a lot of research and study upon which we can develop and the conscious uh, uh, evolution of human consciousness can be taken care of. That is the missing dimension in our present education system. And the most brilliant students, genius people, they rather prefer to join in organizations like DRDO, Bhava Atomic Research Center, Defense Research and Development Organization, ISRO, and all those organizations are doing nothing except the mass uh, creating or manufacturing mass destruction weapons. So yeah. that is that is also meant for the killing, creating terror, devastation, uh, uh, violence, uh, all those things. Yeah. So which is not desirable for human beings, or that is not the basic aspiration of any human being. Everybody wants to live in peace, but we are doing just against our basic aspiration. So that is the missing dimension of our education. So the end use of some of the things we study. You know, my father was in the DRDO, like I said. And once before I came in touch with the Darshan, then whatever, my my mind was opening up and all that. I said, don't you feel bad that uh, these things that you're creating, you know, will will go and kill somebody someday. And they're all big. Eh? He was part of a the last one was a project called Sagarika. It's uh, operational now. It's a nuclear capable submarine launch ballistic missile. India didn't have the technology to launch stuff from beneath the water because the propellant dynamics are different. When something is burning underwater compared to when it's burning in the air, the, the, you know, dynamics, the aerodynamics, everything is very different. He said, you know, Mahatma Sostane, I don't think it should kill somebody and all that. I just got a job and uh, his salary is 80 kilos. Hua. So finally, it was a salary, and there are your weight is because of that. Basically, what he meant is, I was able to sustain you because of that. So he paused and he said, You know, actually, most of it doesn't work. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> so, it's um, there was once we had a defense minister, I won't take the name, uh, we are on camera, and uh, I mean, somebody who should not have been there was there because of electoral politics. Somebody who should not have been the defense minister. And they had gone for a test trial to uh, Sri Harikota. There is a, uh, I forget the name, Wheeler's Island. It's called Wheeler's Island. That's where they were doing the test from. So the scientists were here and this is the island. So what happens is, so this is the landmass. There is an island. The, you know, it is taken by boat, put on the island and then it's supposed to go into the sea. Your test, uh, whatever projectile. So what happened is, this they were here and they hit the launch code. It was supposed to go in this direction. It started coming here, ulta. So the defense minister started running. So the scientist said, "Sir, mat bhagi, wo bahut fast hai. You cannot run faster than a missile. You just stay here. It will go away." <laughs> but father told me, "Yeah, me defense minister. He is trying to outrun a missile." <laughs> so, so the end use, <laughs> somebody just arrived with a backpack, somebody came, yeah, unko lunch to nahi karana hai, kar kya rahe? okay, so the end use, so it's not so much a problem of education, but to what end use, hmm? yes, a nuclear weapon bana rahe, we made it because we can make it, but what do you do with it, pocket mein rakhna hai, bechna hai, nahi bechna hai, kitte rakhne hai, uh, yeah. You have too, too much of memorization. Mobile phone can replace. Okay. By heart. You have to, yeah, you have to mug it up. So then you forget it. The structure and curriculum, okay, one size fits all approach. So that's another problem. Uh, so different needs are not taken into account, different ways of learning. But in this,
ah it's not able to create enough yeah livelihood right so again the end result uh are we able to occupation or livelihood so in red i'm putting in those things that are not directly due to education but maybe uh, you know a, a, a kind of like an end result of yeah <coughs> basically the aim or the objective of the current education um basically was to focus on the facilities and not on the human relationship or any relationship with the environment or it is more oriented towards getting the best out of the material uh, to extract something and uh, the kind of humans that would produce was basically you know uh, we say mrf is like memorize repeat and follow such human beings is what was intended to produce and that is a major flaw in the objective and aim itself okay and that mrf here mrf ka tire diya tha na mrf is madras rubber factory mrf tire stands for madras rubber factory uh yeah but he also said that so here we have it focusing on too much on material reality not reaching consciousness thought and then again you have a uh, relationship you attended the previous session aha uh-huh. so so relationship with humans and nature my handwriting has gone so bad pehle bahut acha tha then the laptop came then this white board came so jo bacha tha wo bhi gaya yeah uh, uh, one more thing which can be added i am just late for the session so then the current education system is focusing on experiment it and then observe it to pehle prayog karo baad mein parinam dekho karte jao aisa yeah observe the first what is existing there and then do if require that okay. is not being incorporated in education that is not being there yeah. so you are saying is the other way around so it is doing and learning right doing and observing so this uh, balance is uh, yeah that's something you can see karke dekho so that yeah so that's true for some part of it uh yeah what else present education system has made the people jisko hindi mein hum kehte hain labhonmadi kamonmadi aur bhogonmadi our social science our economics everything is directed towards the new religion lot of production irrespective of whether the production is actually needed or not just for example maruti udyog they said their annual uh, financial annual, uh, every financial year they used to set their target to manufacture 1 lakhs of four wheelers that should come down to the indian roads for every financial year and everybody knows that our geographical territory is constrained road ways are constant that is not increasing but the number of vehicles is increasing some people may argue that we are creating also livelihood for the people employment provision is also being created but just think of 1 lakh vehicles are manu- being manufactured that is also adding to the traffic jam system and 1 lakh drivers we are creating also that may be a good part of it but at the same time 1 lakh vehicles emitting emissions from the automobiles that is also contributing to the atmospheric pollution and the most uh, unfortunate part of this manufacturing process is whether 1 lakh vehicles are really needed for the human being that is not being estimated or assessed first we are producing then we are imposing upon the humanity that somebody yeah. has to purchase so so much of sales target so much of marketing strategy we are adopting for disposing all those manufactured vehicles so the process has already become the reverse one first we should assess the need then we should go for manufacturing but what is happening at present age we are manufacturing fast then imposing upon the need 
Yeah, and, and anybody from Bangalore will vouch for that, right? So the, <laughs> now the, I don't see much on the phone, but once in a while you will get these little thirty-second, one-minute jokes that people from Bangalore keep making about the traffic and uh, you know. Recently, my brother sent me one where there's a guy who's dying and he calls up the hospital and saying, "I'm going to die." He says, "Where is the ambulance coming from?" He says, "Indira Nagar." Ah, and then he dies off because he realizes the ambulance is never going to reach him, <laughs> and so on and so forth. But yeah but this is is would you think that that's a problem with the education system or uh, a problem with again uh, user behavior and and we'll have to see that right whether it's an issue with is anybody in the education system saying you need to produce more or is that what's ending up happening outside in society understanding part has been used the understanding part right? the understanding so basically what you're saying is because there is no proper input in education these yeah. people when they go on to become industrialists uh, I don't have that kind of vision or drishti that yes. is needed to say the thing is he cannot continue to work in maruti udyog mm-hmm. if the md starts saying let's only produce as many cars that bangalore roads can take he'll be sacked by the board the next day mm-hmm. right because they'll say kisi kaam ka nahi hai the profit will drop mm-hmm. so then you have to go to the root of the company itself and we'll take that up hopefully if we have time as to what is the issue there और आज की जो इकोनॉमिक्स हमें जो पढ़ाई जा रही है हमारे बच्चों को मे बी फ्रॉम द पेरेंट्स और फ्रॉम द टीचर्स और वो भी बच्चों को इस तरह से ग्रूम कर रहा है कि देर इज नो लिमिट टू योर अर्निंग यू कीप एन अर्निंग थ्रू आउट योर लाइफ आज मच एज यू कैन तो नीड के असेसमेंट पार्ट इज मिसिंग हमारे लिए क्या चाहिए हाउ मच फूड हाउ मच क्लॉदिस वी रिक्वायर नो बट इज असेसिंग नेदर पेरेंट्स नॉट द टीचर्स नॉट द पर्सन इन चार्ज तो अगर नीड असेसमेंट नहीं करके यू कीप एन अर्निंग देन दैट बिकम्स एन एंडलेस प्रोसेस एंड लाइफ लॉन्ग यू कीप एन वर्किंग कीप एन अर्निंग कीप एन वर्क एंड यू आर नेवर सेटिस्फाइड एंड इट आल्सो सीम्स टू बी मोर ऑफ अ रीसेंट फिनोमेना राइट टिल टिल यू हैड द काइंड ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल मेंटालिटी सो टू स्पीक ट्रेडिशनली पीपल हु आर वेरी लाइक इन द साउथ दे से आई मीन अभी अ रिच पर्सन कैन फ्रॉन्ट देयर वेल्थ इन द साउथ आई रिमेंबर दैट दे दे वुड से दैट इवन इफ यू गो टू अ वहां की जो बिजनेस कम्युनिटी देयर कॉल्ड चेटियार Chidambaram, you know, is a chetty. He was a finance minister uh, during the Congress regime. He comes from that community, and uh, the only difference between a chettyar's house and somebody else's house is chettyar's house will be really bigger. Baki, they will wear the same dhoti. He will be sitting on the floor and eating. Uske ghar mein bhi ek hi table hoga. There was nothing to show. So this whole tendency to uh, uh, where, where it's become like a social phenomenon is new fold. It was it didn't exist about eighteen hundred years ago. Yeah. Uh, the two three points. First is uh, human values. So a person who is educated, we cannot say that he is a very learned person, and he will behave very responsibly. That's not always true. So we are, by degree, by qualification, we are gaining knowledge in terms of knowledge content. But how are we behaving, or uh, in are we acting responsibly? That's not always the case. Secondly. that there is increased competition and that's also unreasonable competition so among peers among students that they want to compete with each other they have unrealistic goals uh, and they are fighting for things that they may not need but just because everyone one else is doing so they are also have to do third uh, the system itself i mean uh, uh, i feel that there is a need of radical changes as we are moving as things as are changing in the society and the uh, world around education system should also adapt and evolve evolve but the same kind of things are being continued and people are learning and producing in these people <coughs> have abhi naya aaya hai national education policy interestingly we were invited and i was i attended actually what happened is it, it originated from shantidam are ji son is bhargava uh bhargava no yeah his uh, siddhartha siddhartha see i say bhargava because there's somebody else called siddhartha bhargava so siddhartha mr siddhartha called and he said uh, national education policy ka you know there is they, they are calling people who are uh, <coughs> religious and spiritual institutions and uh, i have suggested your name and satyavata ji was also for it so you guys should come and present i said when is it he said is it after two days he said kahan par he said bangalore mein i said what are the details he said the chairman will be there who was kasturi rangan he was the 
ex chairman of isro indian space research organization he said he'll be there so you should come i said how much time will we get he said about 15 minutes he said 15 minutes he said yeah i said and what about uh, to and fro he said no we don't have any fund for that you'll have to pay for it i said i am not interested i am not paying 11000 rupees to come and explain something to somebody for 15 minutes because usko kuch samajh mein nahi aayega let it be i said let me see there somebody in bangalore that we know we'll ask that person to come but he was insistent so when i went and told my father i said i said i said hi dinner he said ha you will get to meet kasturi and you go main paisa deta hu i said it is karangi badal gaya but i mean he has no value of what i'm doing because i'm getting to meet the isro ex isro chairman or the Uh, you know he he agreed to fund my ticket i said no sir you know you give me he is a pensioner he gets a handsome pension so he said he'll pay for the ticket we went and uh, interestingly neither we were a spiritual organization nor are we a religious organization okay because we don't know what is spiritual what does spiritual mean is another question we'll come to it in 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 some time what does spiritual mean uh, um, there are so many definitions right and uh, so There, there were a lot of people sitting. There was Art of Living, Ravi Shankar. There was uh, Sadhguru. Then there was some um, uh, something Jamaat, something something from Assam. I forget the name. Uh, all these big Satya Sai was there. Satya Sai is very big in Bangalore. Satya Sai group of institutions. So when they made the presentation, everybody said we have forty thousand students. We have twenty eight thousand students. We have thirty four thousand students. When it was our turn, I said we have two hundred and six students. <laughs> it was so small, it was just two hundred and six, uh, and of course they wanted practices on how to, uh, you know, uh, what kind of good practices you have in education. Uh, I had one slide in which I spoke of the meaning and purpose of education, and oh, the secretary, he he got a little, I won't take his name. He is the uh, vice chancellor of Azim Premji. Somebody came from Azim Premji, you know? Yeah, he is the VC of Azim Premji University. He was there. he was the secretary of the task force and he was there interestingly my teacher nagraj ji had met his father when he was chief secretary of madhya pradesh this person's father okay and unke sath ye pura baat baat kiya kept that person is a good officer he is retired now as officer so he got a little impatient he said can we go to the next slide i said i don't have a next slide it is one slide for 12 minutes because i need 15 minutes for one slide i'm not because everybody else said hum Art of living said, "Ham school me havan karate hai." Somebody said, "We take them to the stable." Somebody said, "We take them to the cow shala." Ab, it's all good, but the thing is, gobar uthane se budhi aayega kya? What will you do to change a child mindset? Right? It will uh, get used to touching gobar. That's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with it. And uh, Kasturi Rangan was curious. He said, "Is this being implemented somewhere?" He asked just one question. I said we are still kind of you know it's a new darshan. It will take us fifty years to get there. They didn't have fifty years. They have to give the report like in ten days. The government doesn't wait for all this. Uh, yeah, but things are changing. But it changes very slowly. Um, this one is better. This NEP is better than the previous one. The previous one was I think in ninety two. It's coming after thirty years. They're sleeping. They're all fighting. You think anybody is interested in changing education in the government? I think the education minister wants to really change the education system. That's another thing. What do they want? What is what what is the education minister's primary uh, objective? What do you think it is? To continue to be the education minister. <laughs> so he will do whatever is needed to continue to be the education minister. After that comes everything else. so whatever is needed to continue to be the education minister i will do yeah so you cannot understand why education does not change in time if you don't understand the mind of the education minister so one of the questions we have for ourselves is what is the mind why does the education minister think that way yaar mere ko koi shiksha mantri ek din ke liye bana de ek din ke liye and i would pass five or six laws <laughs> right but nobody nobody does that nobody wants to do it so the the interesting thing is we'll have to finally get down to why why are people the way they are why is nobody changing the system anybody else in education here this side everybody is searching for something 
working in an opposite direction. <clears throat> Understanding your objective is the same. My clearly. Uh, sorry, that's a bit of an interruption, but yeah. Uh, so we are not able to address the real problem. That is that uh, we are not able to produce quality people. Yeah. And uh, we are producing just money making, money making machine. commercialization. Yeah. So. So it is difficult to. The really objective. Yeah. How to make right use of resources? So that's another. Yeah, that's like an additional thing. Correctly use. But do you think the right use of resources can be just taught on a board in the school, or does it have to also come from the house and from society and the community around? It has to come from the house. But when I was in the picture, I was in the switch. When you're not using the light, switch. It took me five years to do it. So, you keep forgetting as a child. And he would say it's a resource, it comes with great difficulty, don't waste it. I find I'm saying the same thing to my daughter now. Light, bunker, pani, bunker. They are not able to take a decision. We have always been instructed. So, so one is like mode of teaching, right? So, this is uh, mode of instruction. In the English language is problem, eh? teaching. Huh? Yeah. Just any idea to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but See, what about this workshop? Do you think it has a commercial objective? We have to use things. We have to use resources. Nothing is free. Yeah, actually the place is free. They gave it to us for free. But does it have any commercial outcome? Do you think I am going to make money or are we all going to lose money in 10 days? In these 10 days, are you going to be gaining money or losing money? Yeah, one is functional, but no, but he said he was talking about it in relation to the commercial objective because somebody said education has become commercialized. What they mean by that is that when you set up an institution like a school or a university, you're doing it for the purpose of making profit. For example, we are taking this session, right? So I am conducting this session. I am not doing it because I'm going to earn money. It is costing me money. I paid for the ticket. Three of us came from Pune. Going back, they are going to pay for our food. It is going to cost us money. But I am going to be uh, contented even though I am going to lose money. Me. I am not sitting here to make money because I don't get any fee for this. Exactly. Now the question is, do we think inside the box or do we want to expand the box? Existing one. Right, so should we, sh yeah, so should we open, should we open the, this is, yes, of time pass, hai, you know? 
not not to pass the time <laughs> exactly so so is so one part of education is what you would call as academic which has some let us say utility value right what you would call as an occupational value for example we are taught about uh, faraday's law all of us learned faraday's law even if you forgot it you i mean if you passed school you had to learn faraday's law how many of us put to use faraday's law probably nobody except him maybe he makes some scientific instruments to kuch to unhone ghumaya hoga you must have some faraday's law working there yeah? i mean there would be some coil and you know something connect uh, whatever breaking the flow of magnetism in that coil and generating electricity but the electricity we get is because of faraday's law the light that we are working all this is charged using that so one is one aspect of what you are saying means how do we uh, put to use the content that we give but this is a different question this question is should the objective of education be only commercialization but there should be some commercial also it's like a package no so so let's have these three should we have a school that makes a lot you have a school that makes no profit no loss you have a school that makes little bit of profit you have a school that makes too much of profit out of the four which one do you choose a loss making school no profit no loss school hai na tik tak profit middle class profit rich class profit money money that's all so you agree with what he said that's what he meant when he says that education has become commercialized it's like marriage who marries for profit you think marriage is a profitable enterprise it is but it's highly loss making yeah i mean you will find that if we don't know how to navigate marriage it can become an emotional loss wo jo shaadi ka kharcha wo to gaya hi hai na uske baad see because i i know because i at one point in time i tried to retire without getting married so my mera dost hai wo financial planner hai usne bola 12 lakh then one day i told him shaadi karna hai wo bola 36 lakh wo bola abe ek aadmi ka 12 तो दो आदमी का चौबीस होता है तो बोलता है अभी शादी करने के बाद दो थोड़ी रहते हैं वो तीन का चार चार का पांच ऐसा बढ़ता है मल्टीप्लाई होता है सो नॉट जस्ट दैट बट इवन इफ चिल्ड्रेन आर नॉट बॉर्न द नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू नीड आफ्टर मैरिज आर अ लॉट मोर देन यू नीड एज अ बैचुलर बिकॉज वन चू मैरिड दो आदमी चाय पीने आता है उसके लिए कप एंड सॉसर रखो वो कप सॉसर के लिए अभी उसमें कपाट ढूंढो वो कपाट को साफ करने के लिए एक बाई रखो इट जस्ट कीप्स इंक्रीजिंग so nobody in the right sense who wants to save money would get married unless you are getting married to somebody i mean phenolex you know, like, or is what is it piramal or something like that yeah then then yeah that makes sense yeah? piramal was a big wedding no ambani piramal i think it doesn't matter anyway it was like 30000 crores 8000 crores so koi farak nahi padta hai it's 2000 crores here and there but but having children is having children profitable or loss making what do you think highly loss making if somebody did the math they would not have children aaj ke din even if a bachcha bachcha coming into existence cost 60000 to 1 lakh even if it is natural delivery when my daughter was born i was in the labor room she had a natural birth okay i joked to my friend i said my wife did all the effort and the gynecologist took the money <laughs> No, she made all the effort because of the natural delivery. Oh, one lakh rupees le gayi. Oh, our hospital people, she didn't do anything. She was just standing there. She did all the work. They gave her a room. 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 A natural process costs a lakh. Hmm. It's highly unlikely that people don't use diapers. Three thousand rupees every month. Diaper ke liye lagta hai. We did the math per child. Uske baad all the right the clothing and then the food. उसके बाद वो बात सुनेगा कि नहीं गारंटी नहीं रहता है आफ्टर इट टर्न थर्टीन और फोर्टीन इट स्टॉप लिस्निंग अब भी से मेरी बेटी सुनती नहीं है ना ही वेट ही डजेंट वांट टू लिसन सो पेरेंटिंग इज अ बिग थिंग एंड इफ यू लुक एट इट एज कमर्शियलाइजेशन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस सो द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज द बिगेस्ट डिसीजन इन आर लाइफ आर नॉट प्रॉफिट ओरिएंटेड 
they are not and you can't live them on the basis of profit despite that our general perception about education and and the need to get educated and the reason we have schools etc is very commercial in nature yeah so there's a there's a problem in the mindset in fact if you try and break this down uh so see one part of the issue is content based so you'll have three kinds of problems here one is the content so what are the things to do with content see here i'm going to put a c where the content is small you know it's limited relationships are not covered reality is not covered consciousness is not covered the second is is called pedagogy you know yeah way of teaching pedagogy ka matlab how you deliver it तो डिलीवरिंग में रट्टा मारवा रहे बोल मैं अच्छा आदमी बनूंगा दस बार बोल लिख मैं अच्छा आदमी बनूंगा वो बनेगा क्या अच्छा आदमी यू थिंक चाइल्ड बिकम अ गुड मैन बिकॉज दस बार रट्टा किया कि मैं अच्छा आदमी बनूंगा नहीं होता आई वेंट टू कॉन्वेंट स्कूल एंड माय सरनेम इज नरसिम ने आ रे एंड सरनेम ऑफ नातू एन एट यू सो इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल एट वन टाइम इन आवर स्कूल यू कुड नॉट स्पीक इन मराठी ऐसा स्कूल था नया पादरी आ गया ना जो न्यू uh priest who was the principal or used to be a father priest we used to call him father so and so father so and, and uh, you could not speak in marathi so the guy behind me called natu uh we had a subject called moral science for 6 years mere se moral science copy kiya for 6 years he copied moral science from me where you're looking at honesty moral so i am may fail ho jayega kuch to madad karna so i would give him my i would keep my paper to the side he would copy the entire moral science paper So one is way of teaching. I mean, how are you teaching moral science? We had a subject called moral science, but the, so the content is there. अच्छा ही था देखो complete नहीं था तो some morals could have been Christian morals. I don't remember anything now, right? But they didn't. I mean, I remember it was nothing to do that you you have to hit somebody or kill somebody. So कुछ नहीं लिखा था. But the way of teaching was such that it was the most boring subject. Like even in engineering, we had a subject called management ethics or something. nobody wanted to take that exam because it was the most boring paper because of the way in which it was taught so the second is how are you teaching it method of delivery this is another kind of problem and the third kind that you have is commercialization right what is the end objective you say wisdom and values nahi hai this is the problem of content competition and unrealistic goals this is a problem of pedagogy how are you teaching it and what is the end result are end result kya hai ye doing versus in observing this is also an issue of pedagogy how are you teaching it occupation livelihood is a question of the end result are destructive ho raha hai ki nahi again relationship is an issue of content right one size fits all is what content plus pedagogy is there a common content for everyone does everybody have to go through the same content if so to what class one option is fifth standard tak sabko ek hi padhayenge everybody should know reading and writing everybody should know basic mathematics everybody should basically know that there is nature and you know all that but after that what should be the content and then what should be the method of delivering that content very different children learn different way some children learn classroom instruction some children are better off playing and learning Right? Some children like to be showed things. Not everybody learns in the same way, even when they pass out. Who will? Yeah. Everybody will go for yeah, yeah. The three million, yeah, yeah. Who becomes a teacher today? Just for baki, no degree will not be able to teach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, barring some top institutes in the country, like IITs and IISC. So there's also the uh, what society thinks of you that also makes you decide who will become a teacher and who will not become a teacher, and what society wants. So if there is not much money in education, then overall society will not say you go to education. Hence, overall, lot of people will not try to. look for so we get these three kinds of problems if you break it down again mode of instruction is p pedagogy right use of resources is content right 
so you have the content of education is one problem way of teaching p okay the end result r and the overall objective whatever all the points that we put can be summarized in these four categories what is the solution ये तो प्रॉब्लम हो गया प्रॉब्लम तो हमको सोने नहीं देगा है ना लाइक सूरज जो सही ना व्हेन यू डोंट सी अ प्रॉब्लम यू कैन स्लीप एट पीस शिक्षा में कोई प्रॉब्लम मुझे कोई फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता शिक्षा में प्रॉब्लम है मस्त ऐसा ओढ़ के सो गया शिक्षा का प्रॉब्लम दिख गया अभी उठते जागते शिक्षा का प्रॉब्लम दिखता है अभी वो चीन नहीं देगा आई आस माई यंगर ब्रदर वीकेंड का प्लान क्या वॉट इज योर प्लान फॉर द वीकेंड पी सेज न्यूटन फोर्थ लॉ Law of emotion. I said, "Oh, what happens?" So we are South Indian, you know. So I am there. He eats curd rice at the end of every meal. So his fourth law, he calls it emotion. Is if if curd rice goes in stomach, I close it. I am going to sleep for four hours on the weekend. So what are you going to do? I am going to read a book. He so says, "So you'll read a book. You'll be worrying. I'm doing a mess over there. I'm going to be so wrong. And so he eats curd rice and goes to sleep. His plan for the weekend is to sleep it out." But that's the problem with life. That, and you'll see more of that. Uh, you know that if there are snakes in the field, you are going to see them someday. Maybe today you cannot see it. Here, see, look, you can't see any snake. It's all looking nice and green. You walk in, and then you'll find there are scorpions and snakes, and you know, big two, big two scorpions. I think you know that other thing. Big, ah, huh? ah, uh, crab bhi hai. No, so, so yeah, I got the Tamil word. I have four languages in my head, so. Some words are only in one language. Like this word is there only in Tamil. Anyway, what is the solution? Do you think there is a modern solution to these problems? Do you think modern thinking has a solution to this problem? Like, if I ask, what should be the objective of education? Like he said, consciousness is not there. The second question that will arise is, what is consciousness? how can we develop consciousness and if you are not teaching consciousness okay the question is what is consciousness do we know what is consciousness how can you teach something that you are not clear about because what is consciousness jaise aapne question pucha the second question that will come is according to who if it is according to vedanta then consciousness ka ek uttar hai if it is sankhya darshan it is a different india has you know india chup to baithte nahi idhar raat mein एक नहीं दो नहीं छह छह अठारह दर्शन दिक्कत चलेगा अभी निपटो भाई ना ये ठीक नहीं लगे उसको पकड़ ले वो ठीक नहीं लगे इसको पकड़ ले लाइक द फूड वैरायटी वी हैव द वैरायटी ऑफ थॉट वी हैव इज आल्सो वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग समझ में नहीं आता है कौन सा विच वन डू आई गो डू नॉट बिलीव इट आई मीन इट बिलीव इट नहीं ऑल ऑफ बिलीव इट 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 टू द पॉइंट वेर यू गेट टू मैरी फाइनली द पर्सन यू आर अलाउड टू मैरी उसका इफ यू ट्रेस द लीनियज इट गो बैक टू समथिंग दैट सम फेलो सेड लाइक 2000 इयर्स अगो इफ यू आर अ बिलीवर इन द सेम फेलो देन यू कैन मैरी अदरवाइज यू कैन नॉट द हमारा एक सब कम्युनिटी है वी एडहेयर टू समबडी हु सेड समथिंग 1200 इयर्स अगो 1100 आई एम नॉट एबल अलाउड टू मैरी टू समबडी हु सेड समथिंग एल्स इन आवर कम्युनिटी आई कैन मैरी समबडी हु बिलीव इन शंकराचार्य मेरे को घर से बाहर कर दे टू दिस डेट माई हाउस डज नॉट है फोटो ऑफ शिवा इट इट के नॉट बी देर इज नॉट अलाउड आई कैन टेक मीन आई फोर्टी फाइव टू आई कैन टेक अ फोटो ऑफ शिवा एंड माई 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 मदर थ्रो मी आउट These are universal values. Yeah. So these values that we have at number nine, so we can have some universal values that every human being wants. Yeah. So we want truth, we want compassion. And so chaat ke roop mein all of us want. So that's a good one, right? But then the question is, what is compassion? If a dog is dying, do I give it an injection to help it die faster, or do I let nature take its course? कंपेशन को जब इम्प्लीमेंट करेंगे वेन वी आर क्वेश्चन वॉट इज कंपेशन इन 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 यू नो एक्शन यू डोंट हैव क्लियर आंसर 
it can be very context specific you see the interesting thing is two things are coming up one is we we as in the human race our our education ministry all of us we are not thinking of what other content should be in education and when we do try to think of it we are not able to agree on what it should be and hence what you do you teach those things you can agree on what can you agree on material reality वो पेड़ दिखता है नीम का पेड़ मुझे भी लगता है नीम मुझे भी लगता है नीम का पेड़ होता है लिख नीम का पेड़ होता है उसमें कितने पत्ती होते हैं कड़वा होता है नीम का पेड़ यू कैन लुक एट दीम का पेड़ एंड एवरीबडी वेन दे स्टडी द नीम का पेड़ विल कम आउट द सेम वे एवरी ह्यूमन बींग हैज अ हार्ट एवरी वन ह्यूमन बींग हैज अ गुड हार्ट नो हमको नहीं पता तुमको कैसे पता गुड हार्ट बैड हार्ट कैन बी अरेबल हार्ट ऑल्सो बट ही हैज अ हार्ट है ना The moment you put a qualifier, whether it is good or bad, the moment you talk of values, it becomes very subjective. And hence, they say you can't teach values in the school, or it can't be a part of education because we can't agree on what it is. One is that we need to have the you know need for it. Do you think there is a religious answer to all this? Do you think any religion can help us solve all these problems in education? No. I mean, maybe fifty, hundred years ago we believed it, most of many of us, but now no. this is why if you look at our education system is there a single line from any of india's religions in that curriculum nahi hai ek line indian knowledge system se one line in indian education abhi chhod da bhi they are trying to bring in already know some few lines that they brought in but wo bhi wahi hi hai himmat nahi ho rahi hai pura batane ko to fir wo aayega kya ho diyo to ha वही वही अरे आई आई बोलते हैं अभी आजकल उसका शॉर्ट फॉर्म एक्म आई टी एस हो गया इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड आई टी एस ट्वेंटी में किया है है ना उसको डाल रहे हैं है ना चार पुरुषार उन्होंने वो सारा पोजीशन पेपर मुझे भेजा था फ्रॉम बैंगलोर सिद्धार्थ आयोजित But are we in a position to establish or demonstrate that it is true? So this is one question. So one of the things that we see is in one single thing, like even if you take education, it is very hard. So one is we have a set of problems, but we don't seem to have the solutions to those problems. What about the issue of money? I mean, how many of us think money gets you happiness to an extent? And beyond that. money doesn't give happiness can you get happiness without money if you don't have any money can you still be happy ha huh? yes if trained Let it give some comfort. We'll also see that. How many? Of, how many of you have a bank balance? Everyone. So somewhere at the back of our mind, we are secure in the knowledge that wo udari hai, wo bank udari tha, udari hai, aur usme mere naam se utna hai. So when I go back, I can take it out and pay the bill. I'll just break with a small anecdote to some instance that we felt, and then we'll go for tea. My wife and I, after we got married, her grandmother gave us some jewels, so we took it. And uh, my father's name is State Bank of Patiala. Me, there was a uh, you know a bank locker, so we went and put it there, and we forgot about it. We were going to go there, and we were going to do all that. After about twelve years, when we were in Pune, she had to go for a wedding, so she said we'll go get that something, right? So we went to where that bank was. There was a shop there. So I looked at her. I said, "Where is the bank? The bank is not here." So I asked the guard. I said, "Where is the bank? Where is it? 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 Where is it?
बोला गया कहा गया बोला सर आपका कौन सा है uh, Uh, it has an acronym also so by checking it you said your account your locker is here i said but it doesn't even have anything in it i mean it has all her jewels from like 10 years ago in marathi she said mala mahit she said i don't know i don't know mean, you don't know so then we had to fill up all that and of course we opened it we found they had transferred the so there is an assurance that each one of us gets or has from the fact that you have money somewhere sitting somewhere that you can use right but what is its correlation with assurance what is its correlation with happiness where is, where does the uh, you know outcome that you get from money end and where does the other part start ye human quandary hai human problem hai this is this is a problem that animals don't have from here itself you can see animals don't have this issue sab log theek se sikha rahe hain ki dusre kutte ko koi problem nahi hai usko right so there is a very clear distinction you can see between humans and animals what is it that animals are uh, you know content with just surviving in human beings there is a faculty that is much beyond that and when we are not able to bring those faculties together in ways in which we would like to then we have problems and we try to solve those problems in many ways you know religion has tried to solve this problem in india all the darshans have tried to solve this problem there are ved part shalas i've been to some ha uh, but none of the Parents, I mean, none of the parents who went to Vedic Pathshalas end up putting their children back in the Vedic Pathshalas. In India, me, the situation is Vedic Pathshalas. Me, 90% of the children are children from those houses where they don't get enough to eat. So they go there because they feel that they can get the profession to do. So that's the problem. 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 So that's I and I did it for my grandfather, my grandmother, who to help them reach their destination. I asked him, "What are you saying?" And he explained to me. He said, "There is what is it? Vaitarna. There is a river. Now she is crossing it on a snake. The snake is coming. The snake ka hood hai. All that is included in the thing. So there is an implicit assumption that something survived after death. Tabi to usko bhej rahe na kahi to. If everything was over, what was the point of it? So it takes a lakh to be born. It takes one lakh to die also. After you are dead, your children will be paying one lakh. We did it twice for my nani and nana, both of them. One lakh rupee lakhta hai marne ke baad, and you can't die without an Aadhaar card. They won't burn you. When you go to put the body in the crematorium, bola Aadhaar card dikha. So we had to give the. We luckily we got the Aadhaar card. Made. Otherwise, I would not have been able to cremate my grandfather. That's another problem. Yeah. Right. So we'll break for tea. and come back in in uh, 25 minutes yeah yeah <coughs> uh-huh. <laughs> on it hi uh hi everyone this is netanjin uh i am from bidar uh, northern karnataka so uh, we live in a farm there and we cultivate around 5 acres so uh, that's a short introduction about me and we'll get to know each other in coming 10 days uh, why i'm here this is my second journey uh, yeah probably this could have been my first one uh, we wanted to attend as a family together and explore in our journey as this is, this was more grounded uh, uh, taking reviews or uh, talking to many other people who had earlier earlier attended jeevan vidya like sanjay kumar patil or many others across karnataka So we wanted to attend as a family, but I 
individually went to Rajkot and also attended uh, Yogi Shastriji's uh, workshop in Hindi. So this is my second one. That is why I'm here talking as a family. Hello, everybody. Myself, Shruti. I'm from Veda. So, why I'm here, I just wanted to know how it works. And it may help to my family. Okay, he wants to. Okay. Yeah, as we as we end the session, we'll also have um, towards the end of the session, we'll talk a little bit about the stages of deeply connected or intricately connected with the stages of the uh, body and its own progression. Mm -hmm. When I say we go through, I mean uh, in, in terms of our experiences and the way the mind develops. When you're 11 and 12, you don't have questions on what is relationship and what is education. When you're 18, you don't have that. Right? When, you, when you become 25, maybe you get that. But 30, 35 or 40, it, it, it tends to increase. Um, when you have children, they demand attention. You can't be sitting and wondering what is life when the child is sitting in front of you. And a bowl in a Like she said, I, 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 I think she was trying to say to understand relationships. And usne chin liya. So, ek relation ne uska chin liya ki abhi tum nahi samaj sakte. You can't understand it. It's too late now. <laughs> then you have to look at me. So, that's the thing. We're already married. And now we want to understand what is marriage and what is the meaning of a wife. And, you know, why did I get married and so on and so forth. I am part of a morning group. We are about 10 of us. We uh, kind of also teach the darshan since many years. So, uh, to, to be able to kind of reflect on and meditate on the real meaning of things. You know, so there are different stages when you understand um, darshanic content. When I mean darshanic content, I mean, like we were discussing before the break, content that is not material in nature. When you want to study material reality, there is a specific uh, approach that we use. Typically in science, you'll have a hypothesis, you'll have some, you know, validity for it. So you have some uh, calculation, something, some math, some logic that supports it. Then you'll have an experiment phase where you go ahead and do it. And then you test it and you say, yeah, we found this to be true. Right? So for example, uh, for 110 years ago, Newton, Einstein predicted that there should be background cosmic radiation. And about three years ago, they were all very happy. They found the, they, they were able to detect it. So the, the, the theory was to 100 and, uh, you know, whatever, 10 years ago, 110 years ke baad, you go and prove that something is really, it was predicted that this is the way it should be according to the equation. So that's a scientific approach. When we use a scientific approach to study material reality, sometimes we are doing things and understanding how they operate. Sometimes you are intuiting that this is the way it should be. Yeah, like you have the periodic table of elements. All of us have studied it. Most of us must have forgotten it because it's no use. But uh, Mendeleev uh, was a Russian guy who, who saw it and he saw it in a dream. He didn't go around counting the elements on the soil, arsenic mil gaya, plutonium mil gaya, gold mil gaya, such, 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 such. that's not the, karke ne samja. it's not an experimentation. You are able to see because you are uh, concentrating on it so much, you are able to see that this is the way it should be arranged. And then he puts it down. And then when they develop it, they find that this is the way it is. That's a scientific way to study something. But how do you study uh, what is trust or what is relationship? Karke to you can't keep testing it out. Testing karke we are able to manage it. Like after marriage, after a few years, both sides tend to develop the intelligence on what to do, what not to do to keep things peaceful. Not because it is you think it is the right thing to do. But because you know that if I don't do this, there will be an explosion and I don't want that explosion. So just keep quiet. Thanda chai mila, just keep quiet. This time, just keep quiet. So you have to repeat 10 times. And you know, next time, if my wife says this, I will be quiet. Next time she says this, I will be quiet. Because, not because I believe it is the right thing to do. I still believe, mujhe jo bolna tha, hai. 
बट लेकिन दैट्स नॉट गेटिंग एक्सेप्टेड तो वी लर्न हाउ टू मैनेज थिंग्स ये करके समझना है इन रिलेशन सो टिपिकली व्हाट वी कॉल एज एडजस्टिंग इन रिलेशन इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट व्हाट वर्क्स व्हाट डजंट वर्क बट मेनी अ टाइम्स आवर हार्ट इज नॉट इन इट वी डोंट नो वेदर दैट वाज अ रियली द राइट थिंग व्हेन यू एक्चुअली गो टू डू द रियली राइट थिंग देन एंड इफ इट एक्सपोज्ड टू मच देन यू हैव टू पार्ट वेज वो बोला वी आर नॉट कंपैटिबल एनीमोर बिकॉज़ तुम्हारा विचार मेरा विचार नहीं बदल सकता वी वी कांट मीट Right, and none do I do. My laptop, okay. None do I do. No, is I set the boundary then and there. Why is freeze? Okay, I'll I'll allow. Hello, go. So, <laughs> so the way to understand is something we look at. I mean, how do you know something is true? So we looked at some of this. Uh, yeah, he'll be busy, and yeah, let him be. So it's okay. Yeah. After some time, you can offer him a pen for the whiteboard if you want. Then. <laughs> yeah. So in the mornings in the last fifteen twenty days in our morning group, we've been sitting and trying to decipher this uh, husband wife relationship, pati patni sambandh. Last ten days before we left and came to Bangalore, uh, and I I told you I've been at this for thirteen years. Okay, and uh, I'm already 45. We've been 15 years since marriage, and we were trying to break down the husband-wife relationship to see if we can make complete sense of it, over and beyond what is written in the text. So there are these phases in life, and it seems that naturally there are some phases in which you have to do certain things, and you have to gain some understanding. And if you don't, then life catches up with you. So the next phase is already in front of you, and you're still incomplete in the previous phase. After education, pura nahi ho, bacha ho gaya. है ना बच्चे को बड़ा कैसा करना पता नहीं चला यहाँ पेरेंट्स आर टू ओल्ड राइट सो वी आर ऑल वी आर टाइम टू प्ले कैच अप एंड दैट सीम्स टू बी द केस इज ह्यूमंस बिकॉज वी आर ट्राइंग टू ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट व्हाट टू डू वी स्टिल ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट व्हाट टू डू वी वर वी वर इन द फार्म्स वी फेल दिस इज अ वेरी पुअर वे ऑफ वर्किंग वी एंड वी एज एन ह्यूमन रेस राइट माई पेरेंट्स योर पेरेंट्स से नो आई नीड टू गेट अ साइंस डिग्री इंजीनियरिंग डिग्री एडवोकेट डिग्री दे वेंट टू द सिटी It became too much. Now, his child says, "I am going to do something alternate. Alternate? What? Go back to where we came from. So, we will go back to where we came from. I. Um, but finally, if you see, then is the answer in in growing mungfully because mungfully was anyways being grown to begin with. Why did we even get here? And why do why 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 do we have to go back to mungfully? What is the overall answer? So that seems to be something we are groping for. So before we broke, we uh, spent a little bit of time. Uh, listing out what we thought are the problems in education we said that three four one is we don't seem to be clear about what the objective of education is we can put together a few points right we can say it should have good personality it should have good values it should be able to do math should have some amount of memory should be literate should be a good citizen you know we can maybe put together a cluster of objectives and then if you ask what will be the content that brings it together then we then then we have a difference of opinion because the different religions will give different values different ways to establish those values so there doesn't seem to be any existing religion based answer for the problems in education and there doesn't seem to be any modern answer either because these problems themselves seem to be caused due to partly due to modernity actually one big thing is education ka jo access hai access to education itself is increased many fold people like to believe in a romantic past where every village in india had a school and all that but we don't know we didn't even we were not there at that time you read some of the texts they say every school every village in india had a school but it came with its own set of you know not every caste can study in that school we like to you know we are convenient at ignoring certain things when we want to uh, romanticize something not everybody is allowed to get education women could not get education Women and men could not sit together in the same room. We would be shot 50 years ago. <laughs> Somebody would come and shoot us. So something is changing in in our what you would call as collective consciousness. So that's one. Uh, so that was some of the things. So we won't get into the remainder. The next slide, and we have some questions there. What do we really know? For example. what is human nature and purpose or human purpose and what is human nature 
any idea? You can share. You don't have to give a. Human nature is to live in peace. Okay. To be good and to do good. Okay. They are saying happiness and contentment is our fundamental need, but there is something covering it that is preventing us from becoming that. Darker part is to be selfish. Then the other, like वो कहानी है ना जेकिल एंड मिस्टर जेकिल एंड डॉक्टर है कि डॉक्टर जेकिल मिस्टर है। वो दिन में कुछ रहता है रात को और ही कुछ हो जाता है ना। We have this two sides to us. If you have balance, then the nature is very productive. Yeah, with short temper. Yeah. You are there. So you have to keep doing something. You are there. There will be purpose. And while and while doing that purpose, it's nice if you are not short tempered also. I'm saying when we are partaking in that action, it will also be nice if you don't have a short temper. Yeah, short temper spoils everything. So one of the purposes of life is to not have a short temper when I'm doing things that that are, uh, yeah. Nobody likes a short temper. To live your uh, entire potential, fullest potential. To live in harmony, like Israel and Gaza, like what's happening in Israel and the Gaza Strip. It's all over the news. The human nature. Eh? They're trying to live in harmony. You know, when when this uh, system is also called Sahasrithivat, coexistential thought, yeah, coexistentialism. So when we were initially, uh, I I uh, developed all the websites that we have for the system. There are four, three, four websites. Out of which three were developed by me, the, the bigger one. It took me about fourteen, fifteen years. The last fourteen, fifteen years, you know, I've been archiving and developing. And so when we look for coexistence, so the term that came up was peaceful coexistence. A term that so I I was trying to see what keywords people will use so we can put it. So you know what peaceful coexistence was. You know where it was coined. It was coined in between Israel and Palestine, that Palestinian area. How can we have our differences, believe in different things, and still be together? With minimal impact, he is not even expecting that Mara Mari will not happen. Yeah, two three will kill him. And I am also two three will kill him. Let's be peace. That is peace. Uh, nowhere does it imagine or even believe that right? uh, there can ever be long-lasting peace. They are creating violence. They want to live in harmony on their terms. If he is not there, I am harmonious. Yeah, yeah, na. The fight in Israel and Gaza. Kya? If he is not there, he is the cause of my disharmony. 
his existence is the cause of my unhappiness when he ceases to exist everything is fine fir hum ek dusre se niptenge wo theek hai right we will take care of each other but he is the bigger evil so it's a question of who is the larger evil is like asking will india be eternally peaceful once pakistan and china move away let's say the landmass separates right continental drift to one or ek drift ho jaye to shanti ho jayegi do you think there will be shanti in the country because of that you know <laughs> you know within i'm saying will will we be harmony and peaceful will there be harmony and you know peace there will be no harmony tarka shastra will be fighting each other somebody wrote a book called the argumentative indian no we as naipaul you written a book called the argumentative indian so that's the thing if we don't know what is human nature how will we teach it in education i mean we can teach our uh, expectations hamari apeksha jo hai wo padha sakte hain acha banna chahiye ye hona chahiye like like my moral science class that i told you right wo acha hi padha raha hai usko bhi ladka copy kar leta hai hai na you copy that to pass i helped the guy copy five years in fact there's another guy that copied physics chemistry and maths from in the 12th standard exam then he went on to do his masters from the us phd bhi kar liya usne wo basic 12th usne topa tha he copied the basic 12th jo engineering admission ke liye tha he had taken physics and chemistry from him so there are some moral questions and there are also questions of what these things actually mean and when we try to pinpoint and ask a question like that we often seem to struggle with what the answer is for example you know um so you have awareness and equanimity it sounds nice all of us would like to how many of us want to be aware all the time and equanimous you want to be in a state of balance correct but if we ask where does awareness take place or where does equanimity take place what is the answer level of consciousness for a lot of people it is via ganja yeah, you become very aware and you can be very economic anybody can come and say anything to you and nothing will matter yeah, this some of my class friends who matlab us samay zyada nahi tha i believe nowadays it is gone up quite a bit but when i studied between 95 and 99 when i studied engineering it was not that common but out of the two or three brave people in the class who would you know who had access to such stuff and the guts to do that they would say it is a totally different level hmm. beyond human nature india mein to sadhuon ka purana aadat hai nanja lena they they say that you know the lord shiva is called the shiv ji ka prasad na if you go to up aap ke idhar you don't have to ask by the name ganja so shiv ji ka prasad hai kya so it's called shiv ji ka prasad so is it a brain state or is it something else that's another uh, you know question that we have when we say awareness in equanimity what 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 does it really mean constant supply of impulse okay like let's say i'm interacting with somebody and i'm making a mistake that there are two states i'm making a mistake in the behavior and uh, in state a i'm not aware that i'm making a mistake in state b i'm aware that i'm making a mistake while i'm making it in state c i'm aware a little after for now let's just take this much which, which would you say is awareness when i'm when i don't know that i'm making a mistake karte samay mujhe pata chal raha hai galti ho rahi hai whatever i'm being aggressive i'm losing my temper i'm being a little nasty sometimes when you're troubled inside hum badla lete hain na purana jo hisab kitab hai bahar chhodte hain it will be stored somewhere in some corner of our mind you know and and when things get too much to bear we take out that ar hai na ramban bana rehta hamare andar kahi na kahi right it, it takes shape and then we let it out char saal pehle tune aisa bola tha <laughs> so it comes out 
uh, what would you say is awareness when you are aware of your action so when i so there is an action that i am partaking in and there is something that is seeing that action then i would say i am aware of it when i am not able to see what i am doing then i am not aware of it like in a state of deep sleep when when so when we go to sleep the first initial period is when we are seeing dream right there's all the clutter from the day that comes out sometimes in random motion sometimes in and then there is a period of silence where there seems to be nothing is happening then and then you wake up and say that i had a good night sleep but in that period of sushupti of of deep sleep uh, we're not able to see any dream you're not even aware that we exist but you get up and say that you know i i had a good night sleep which means that awareness is me coming to know of something that i am doing being able to watch it huh yeah ask it was writing you yeah yeah so when you are actually doing that you have actually snapped out of deep sleep if you don't snap out of deep sleep you cannot get the mosquito we were once in kanpur my wife and i to attend a session there was i still remember the vehicle it was a chevrolet tavera khatam ho gaya that vehicle has stopped production by general motors the driver was uh, you know asleep in the driver seat the door was open and as a ludak ke soya tha i counted 26 mosquitoes on his hand and his face and he was still sleeping chabbi is not one not two and good kanpur mosquitoes you know they're big They're not like your uh, this uh, dharwad mosquito they little they come for an hour in the evening and go is a nice well built yeah aggressive like the people there yeah. <laughs> we met a lot of aggressive people in kanpur but that's a story for another day hmm yeah can you go to sleep so that's it so there may be certain states in which you can put yourself to sleep but right now we just trying to understand what is awareness and what we understand by the term awareness so it seems to be the ability to be aware to be able to watch what you are doing otherwise you are not uh, you know aware of it so there was just some uh, broad questions and um, how do we think these things are related There's so many different. I just randomly put some words there. Like, what is the relationship between human nature and awareness? Between awareness and evolution? Between that and mind? Between mind and consciousness? Or happiness? Between happiness and the world and reality? Do you have any uh, ideas, or have you thought of something in the past that you know something that you read or you try to understand that you want to share with others? one is do you think they are even related or they are all unrelated things they are related in some way so that is about other other things in nature we basically saying ants will be ants till we don't go and mess with them yeah but ants don't have these questions the ant is a part of reality it doesn't have a question of i'm an aware ant this is an unaware ant the educated ant this is a human issue yeah and the, the inquiry is have we thought of how these things are related do you think it's even important to ask that question like do you think it is possible to be happy without being equanimous equanimity nahi hai balance nahi aur happiness hai possible hai nahi hai na to ek relationship to mila ha sorry 
no no equanimity means balance internal balance equanimity equilibrium so do you think it's possible to be happy without having equilibrium hmm sambhavna kam hai so one is outside internal and external equilibrium like i overdo something then it doesn't work i i over express my affection to my wife so bhi ko pata chalta hai ki something else is up and a jyada bol raha hai hai or being over honest like we uh, for example all of us have certain i mean we thought something about people we know right but do you say that to them on the face mujhe tere bare mein aisa lagta hai we don't do that we they never overdo it we say honesty is a virtue we want to be honest but more often than not you will find that you will have to spend your whole life without being able to tell people what you really think about them because if you do that nobody will want to talk to you nobody will want to talk to us if we tell them what we really thought about them <laughs> so these thoughts that we have within already have a sense of imbalance within us we don't want to hear from others what we what they really think about us nobody wants to know isile jo problem hota hai wo daru peene ke baad hi hota hai jo log bol deta bak deta hai na jo social filter hai yeah, there is a filter so that's also an interesting thing the juncture between the mind and the brain how one influences the other yeah so if you if you change the the chemical state in the brain using some drug or something it changes the mind and how it behaves because the same guy would never dream of saying those things before he is drunk तो दारू पीने के बाद सब बक डालेगा बोला है यार क्या हो गया मैं कुछ भी बोल दिया बक ना दारू पीने ही रिपेंट्स आफ्टर इट सो हु इज द पर्सन डिसाइडिंग नॉट टू से हु इज द पर्सन हु इज सेइंग एंड हु इज द पर्सन रिपेंटिंग ये कह सो अनलेस वी एड्रेस दीस इश्यूज एंड सी हाउ दे आर इंटररिलेटेड इट्स रियली नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर अस टू रियली एड्रेस व्हाट इज हैप्पीनेस है ना व्हिच मींस दैट टू बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हैप्पीनेस वी हैव टू गो इनटू व्हाट इज द माइंड सो इफ यू लुक एट इट हियर who is going to be aware the mind will be aware the mind is a product of evolution and destiny i see the world in reality using the mind not using the eyes the reality keval aankhon se dikhta hai using only the eyes or do i also have to use the mind i have to apply the mind as well if i don't understand what is human nature and purpose i still can't be happy because then i may be at odds with human nature if i believe that all people are inherently good but i can't explain if that is the case why israel and gaza happens or it still continues to happen then it creates a disturbance in me mm. because people will not let me have that faith you know people are also very nice right the moment they find out something that you believe in is off the mark they will tell you aisa hota nahi you continue to believe people are inherently nice so bolta acha dekh 20000 mar gaya bol 20000 people have died they keep giving statistics and of course there are reasons to let the conflict happen we will get arguments on both sides so in in the course of what we'll uh, cover here we we'll look at how these different aspects are related all right and uh, somebody spend yours or oh, aapka okay so if you look at this slide we looked at some of the problems that we saw in humans This is a busy slide. It's again in, in Hindi, so I'll read it out in English uh, because we didn't have a Hindi version. So this is plants, pran. You can read that in Devanagari. This is animals, jeev. This is material things, padar. This is the human being, parivar is family. This is samaj society, and this is human system. I'll draw it here in English. Okay. I'll draw it here in English. It'll be simpler. So I'll just copy that here so that
before we broke for tea, we discussed some issues like there's an edu- issue in education, the issue in relationships. Where do you think these problems exist? Do you think there is some inherent problem in matter on the earth? Do you think the planet itself is a problem? See, there is an inherent problem in the planet. This is why we are not able to live properly. Yes, no. You don't know. Maybe. Yeah. So we'll put. We'll take a maybe also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, we are, we are trying to slowly investigate things, right? We don't need to arrive at uh, a con. No, we will arrive at a conclusion. Why should we? Why should we simply be talking without any conclusion? Time pass. Kele thodi baat karna. But you don't have to agree with that conclusion in these ten days. For those parts that you are able to assess and able to see, those will be ones that. Belong to you because then you've been able to see them. Like I made a statement saying, we lose awareness when we're in deep sleep. If you are able to investigate this and verify it, and then now uh, that's yours now. It's not just a sentence that I made, but it's part of the reality that exists within you that you live in. If we say that you know, uh, when you have conflict, you are unhappy. That's the statement that I made. I believe it. It's a sentence that you heard, and then you reflect on it, and you find out that's true. Every time I have conflict, I I don't want to be in that conflicting state, and I want to get out. Now it's become yours to live with. So similarly, there will be a lot of sentences here that you will be able to assess in these ten days, and there will be a lot of sentences which you won't be able to assess in these ten days. But you will have to you know assess them as you uh, you know live on. Yeah. So one is. There is some inherent problem, so I'll just put a question mark here. What about plants? Do you think there is some inherent problem in plants, or are plants in harmony? Is the plant kingdom in a harmony or in a problemless state by itself? You believe it is of these an organic farmer, so you say it is in harmony. Yeah. Huh. Among themselves. As well as most of the nature. What about those who have not attended the session before? A third answer is I am not able to think now. It's too much. मुझे जाने दो. That's the third option. Agree, disagree. मुझे जाने दो. Three options. A uh, lot of destruction of forest area. That's a human intervention, but plants themselves. For example, you see that tree there, this tree here. Do you think it's in order by itself, or do you think it's in disorder? And that entire system by itself. You can see. You can. Uh, there are probably twenty species you can see. If you just look out the window, we should hold it. Neither he'll be able to. I can see about five varieties of trees right here. There are four standing crops right there. And some grass, be so high. Do you think there is an inherent balance there, or think that they are out of balance? You don't think you don't think there is a balance. No. The big eats of the small, correct? So that's a bad thing. Too bad for the small one. Big win. Which big plant is eating which small plant? It is not protect. So what? Which? What should we say? Is it in balance? Is it out of balance? Correct. Do you think the smaller grass feels bad when the tamarind tree eats it up? Do you think the grass feels bad? उसको खराब लगता है? Do you think it feels bad if the bigger tree doesn't allow it to come? Do you think plants have feelings? Plants have feelings. Okay. So maybe also there. They are also part of the same soil. 
So like we are intelligent beings. So does that mean the grass also has to be intelligent? Of their own. Of their own kind. Like for example. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get his logic? If a man eating tiger eats up a human, he should also get love, affection for its wife, and you know, because those human emotion have what tiger can under Anna say, na? Tiger will go and tell its wife, I won't fight with you. Chalo, me admi khali aaj. Yeah? Tigers are sentient beings. Sentience ka matlab hota hai consciousness. Do plants have consciousness? Is it is it is it ethical to eat plants or is it unethical to eat plants? What do you think? As in, if plants have feelings, is it okay to kill them and eat them? Only feel bad that I always get hungry. Yeah, every year I try to grow and this guy eats me up. Yeah, every year I try to grow and this guy eats me up. I mean, imagine the fate of that Ghana tree, right? They take three, three person lete na. You know the the sugar cane grows about three to four years. Three years, four years. Who grows sugar cane? Na, apko pata hoga. Only one year. Hamare idhar three three bar karte hain. Even in UP. Ha. Ah. They remove the old one. So imagine the fate of that sugar cane. The first year it tried to grow. Somebody cut it, made it into sherbet, and drank it up. The second year it tries to grow, then ake karta hai. Third year gone. So do you think the sugar cane tree feels bad? Huh? It has its own. Yeah. Yeah. Something will be happening, and it seems that it will feel bad. So should we be eating sugar cane at all? Hmm. Third, it will be burned. That's even or when it will be cremated. Huh? Next level. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is no sin. It's a proverb that allows us to eat. Yeah, that's actually interesting, and we'll put up some of these questions here because we don't have to answer all the questions today. I will write the questions at this corner in red, so we have them. Yeah, yeah. What is killing? And do plants have feelings? Do you think animals have feelings? So, does the feeling of an animal and a plant is it the same, or do you think it's different? Animals can feel pain, and plants, plants cannot feel pain. That's what he believes. That's why he can eat methi. Methi ki sabji because he feels ki ye pain hai, main tumko kha jaunga, hai na? One difference is that when you try to catch an animal to eat it, does it stay there? Ki mujhe khaja, or does it try to run away? Does it offer itself up to you that God made me so that you can eat me? Please eat me, or does it try to run to humans, not to animals? For animals, they don't have the problem of God. So we have one distinction between the monkey, monkey. They are not worshiping us. Yeah, especially in India, we have. A god with every combination. Yeah, my surname is Narsingman. I'm not even fully. I'm neither am I fully male. I'm in a human. My surname, you know, Nara is that uh, you know lion, yeah, tiger, half tiger and half male, lion. So what do we do? Should we eat plants? Should we not eat plants? Huh? So that depends on what is blood. Do plants have blood? Blood is a liquid. So, correct. Plants don't have a nervous system, but we'll get to that. It has something. Yeah. Correct. 
correct correct there is some liquid that's going all over the yeah it's interesting as humans so see we 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 you know uh, in the previous thing we said i mean what do we know the we are eating plants humko bhook lagti hai we earn money with your salary you go you buy vegetables in the market in bangalore and you eat them yeah and uh, but we also have this curiosity to know whether they are being harmed when i'm eating them and we all hold different beliefs about what plants are and what they are not like they don't have so the so the fluids in plants don't have any red blood corpuscles there's no rbc there's no wbc they don't have blood they don't have red blood you have some insects that have a greenish liquid like if you kill a lizard it will be white and greenish even even frogs if you ever run over a frog you'll find that blood doesn't come out from it but some snakes have blood and plants just have some kind of liquid right so in order for us to be able to even um, mindfully live with these things around us we have to understand what they are and the distinction between them nahi to hum unke sath jee nahi sakte ek basic jo cheez nikal ke aa raha hai that as humans we need knowing we ha- we need information about the things that we live with otherwise you can't make up your mind on whether what you're doing is right or wrong and if i ask you a very basic question as a human do you want to do what is right or do you want to do what is wrong what is the answer irrespective of whether we know what is right or not irrespective of whether your right agrees with her right or not mai karunga to sahi so there is something intrinsic in me that prevents me from doing what i believe is wrong ye wali baat kaun si hai there is something very basic in me in every human that desires that i do the right thing so there's one thing fixed about human nature we can decipher and that is i want to do the right thing the beliefs may be different so there are two inferences we can draw one is i want to do the right thing we have different beliefs of what is right okay so i will do what is right the beliefs can be different for example uh tibetan buddhist believe that it is okay to eat an animal that has died because it is anyways dead so i have not taken its life वो तो वैसे भी मर गया अभी मैं उसको खा सकता हूं जैसे आना तो बिलीव वेर यू से कि नो आई कैन किल टू ईट आई कैन किल एनिमल्स टू ईट एज लॉन्ग एज आई एम ओनली टेकिंग एज मच एज आई नीड टू फुलफिल माई हंगर दैट टू बी अनदर बिलीव है अ थर्ड बिलीव इज नो नो आई कॉन्ट यू नीड प्लान बिकॉज प्लान टू हैव फीलिंग्स नाउ इफ यू सी आई एम डूइंग द राइट थिंग और आई बिलीव इन द राइट थिंग बट वॉट इफ प्लान डोंट हैव फीलिंग्स and it's okay for me to eat is on that like if you go to um, southeast asia you you know taiwan singapore china if you say i want to eat something vegetarian for them vegetarian means what is not red meat lal mas hota hai aur safed mas hota hai lal mas wo hota hai jisme khoon dorta hai and safed mas hota hai jisme khoon nahi hai lekin life hai so the other question is what is life what is consciousness what has pain what doesn't have pain barabar na what about humans is it okay to kill any human mujhe bhook lagi main aapko kha jaau sahi galat mujhe bhook lagi hai you are offering yourself to me ki tu mujhe kha le you are so hungry out of my benevolence i am allowing you to eat me okay now is it ethical or non ethical both parties are in agreement i want to eat him and he is offering himself he is filled with compassion and love and he says this poor soul is hungry and i want to get my nirvana i want to get my emancipation to mujhe kha le we don't have a nature we don't have it in us but we did i mean it used to be called cannibalism uh some people did i don't know you get these forward from china where they say they eat kill i don't know how far it's true because these forward the sometimes just made up ha huh? ah uh, yeah it happened recently uh europe mein indian to bechara mar jata nahi kha pata 
there were 12 people traveling in a chartered flight and it crashed in the alps and three of the people survived by eating their four friends who died uske dost ko hi khana pada kaccha masala thodi hai udhar alps mein no tel no masala kaccha ho bhi the circumstance circumstance but the sham tak you can eat me up if the if the circumstance is deem it khana if we both are in that flight you would still don't go with him on a flight because he's going to eat you up i <laughs> he said he came by bus i am not traveling him with him on a bus again yeah so what is ethical it's to do with what is right and what is circumstantial i mean are we right so now now look at this is such a simple thing right we based on what we believe can you still hear me so that mic yeah good so this otherwise it seems like it was too close by one is i'm not very comfort i'm not used to this uh wearing this thing and talking i like i said i do it sporadically not very often uh, there's this thing that's in front of my nose all the time it just refuses to go away yeah. there are nicer mics now that come uh but for that you have to be on ted.com not like in harvard and all that you'll get that little fancy Uh, it also the color of us of the skin so you can't see it so it's very simple if you can't understand what plants are like we are not able to make up our mind on whether eating plants are wrong or right there is a whole belief in india right jainism believes that there is jeev any jains here up jainism believes that jeev exists in every kant so now you have to wear a mask to make sure that you don't breathe in the thing of course people are letting go of it but the belief still stays and we don't know right finally we don't know so we have to make up our mind on what plants are like that's one but on the whole if you see the entire ecosystem on the planet on the earth if you see the entire plant life on the earth do you think humans are managing the 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 you know balance in it or do you think plants are balancing it themselves if you talk of balance Like you talk of the spoke of the uh, you know tamarind tree and the grass, do you think overall the plant ecosystem is in balance or is it out of balance? Forget about what one plant is doing to the other, but overall, if you look at it, does it seem to be in balance or out of balance? It's in balance. We call it an ecosystem, and it is in balance. Within that balance, you have somebody losing out and somebody winning, and we feel it is losing out because we put our emotion on it. but if you step back and take the larger picture the larger view you will find that it is in balance for example there is one particular kind of grass that grows here the people here didn't decide it ye oil grass ye planted nahi hai ye jo ho raha hai idhar hai na apne aap hone wala hai jo hota hai idhar jisko kisan nikalta rehta hai na people say take it out is that grass but it's one kind but it's not that you will find the same kind everywhere it is not allowing some other kind of grass to come here but put together all these grass make up one balance if you take the entire all of dharwad district right yahan ka jo plant life hai the plant life here is seems to be in a balance what about animals do you think animals are in balance or out of balance the animal kingdom wo kingdom par baat mein aate there is no king there but let's just call it animal order or animal kingdom is it in balance or out of balance like in a forest the number of deer the number of let's say a uh, leopard whether there will be a tiger or not how many tigers there will be is there an inherent balance there or is it out of balance due to human intervention it was in balance so wherever we don't have a forest department it is still in balance wherever where you have a forest department to take care of it it has gone into imbalance because wo base there hai simply hunting and killing it yeah so now it's a little more difficult you have to bribe them to hunt otherwise you can't hunt but you can still hunt as long as you can bribe them if you want to fell the tree you have to pay off the dfo district forest officer eh so ho jata hai our interaction with the animals we being human animals 
and whatever we are doing to these animals can be called as a bad i'm i'm, I'm Name it. Restraining myself from anthropocentric, whatever, how we see now. But if I, if it if it turns we are hunting animals, and that can also be said. Okay, it's fine. It's it's a system. It's a system. See, this is a, a other view I have. Yeah, the question is how much you hunt. If you go to Rajasthan, there is a very uh, good sanctuary. It's called the Bharatpur Natural Sanctuary. Maybe some of you have gone there. It uh, is a um, uh, interesting place because it has more than three hundred varieties of birds that come there, and it's a man-made lake. The Raja got it made for hunting. But actually, flood ko roka, drought ho gaya tha, to usne river ko divert kiya. Divert is a river, and there was a big lake there. And if you go there, there are these uh, boards by the Britishers. I mean, of the Britishers, saying today so and so, Mr. Johnson, so and so, killed fifty-five thousand fowl, five thousand fine, shooting me. Shooting practice, कर कर के सब उड़ा दिया. So even when you are hunting, for example, how much will you hunt so that the balance is not disturbed? But in itself, if you see, we see that animals by themselves are in balance, plants are in balance. What about the material? I mean, if you look at uh, the level of oxygen, the level of nitrogen, the level of phosphorus, how much gold there is on the planet? Is it in balance or is it out of balance? Is it supporting plant and animal life, or you think it's out of balance and not supporting plant and animal life? Re- recent times, it's unbalanced by itself, left to itself. Now we have humans to hire. Let's think of a world where there were no humans. There was some time when there were no humans. Was it in balance? Not in balance. It was in balance. It's still in balance. We're still breathing the air. Now we're being sans lire. I mean, humko oxygen chahiye, and there is oxygen available. If there was no oxygen available, there's nothing you could do. In Delhi, they were trying. In Bombay, they were trying to create artificial rain. Okay, but this time we saw that in the mangoes there was no sweetness. This time, the mango crop in India did not have any sweetness because there was not enough heat. The khatas, the the sourness in the mango turns into sweet because of the heat that arrives. And the summer was not what it was, so there was no sweetness in the mango. Do you think humans have the ability to make mango sweet if they are not sweet? If the arm and mitas khata mo jaye, do you think we have the ability to create sweet again? No. So there is a, you know, a kind of a a, a measure to which you can influence nature, and there is a me- beyond which you cannot. So despite everything that we are doing, we still find that the material order is in balance. What about between plants and animals? Do you think they are in balance or out of balance? For example, uh, if you take a deer, deer eats plant, and then what does the deer do? It gives out excreta, and by then what happens? The plant get the plants also get enriched. It gives out some excreta, correct? That enriches the soil, and then what happens? Because of the enriched soil, the plants also improve. And because the plants improve, the next time the deer gets to eat a better or a bigger plant. Similarly, when animals, when the deer eats this plant, it does another thing. It sits out. Have you seen the people tree where it grows? People tree. Anybody tried to plant a people tree? I have been told it is very difficult to grow it. But it will grow at the crevice or the corner of a building. Jo bird jo shit karta hai na, it will go and shit it in one corner of the tree. And if you see in your house, if you have an old house. Or if you have a terrace, if you have a flat or a park, you go to the top and corner of the tree, you'll find a little people tree growing. You have to keep pulling it out, and you'll never know where the root is. It'll keep coming back. Up here, man, you have one in the old building that you had. People pedi hota hai, and that seems to be the only way in which the people tree will propagate. वो ज्यादा दिखता है सो इफ यू लुक एट एनिमल्स एनिमल्स आर ईटिंग प्लांट एंड आल्सो गिविंग समथिंग बैक टू द सॉइल व्हिच इज व्हाट देयर एक्सक्रीटा एंड आल्सो पॉपुलेटिंग द प्लांट देयर इज अ फेमस सेइंग दैट इवन टुडे दैट इफ 
bees were to stop existing, we won't get food to eat. Why? Pollination nahi hoga. Big crisis in US farming. Because they did the spraying using aeroplanes. Hum to, the Bharati Admi to, abhi to battery pa hai. Pahile to haath se gumara tha na. They were rotating it by hand. Now they have an automated, I think, battery operated system by which they are able to spray. There they were spraying it using these low flying aeroplanes. Yet, so there was mass spraying, so the bees also stopped dying. As to, I mean, bees are also getting killed. So now there is no cross pollination available. Have you read of it? No. It's become a big issue. So bees are necessary for pollination in plants to take place. So if there are no bees, then the pollination in plants. So you see that with a very cursory look, and as we proceed, we'll take a deeper look. Right now, we just want to trace where the issue is. We spoke of a few problems, and we'll try to see where the root of the problem lies. You see that the material order, which is the earth, you know, things like the soil, water, minerals. Are they complementary to animals or are they in conflict? It's complementary. So these three systems, the animal system, the plant system and the material system are complementary. What about the earth, the soil, the water and minerals? Are they complementary to the human? They are, right? We want to breathe air and air is available. Are plants complementary to us? Yes. Are animals complementary to us? Yes. What about humans to animals? Question mark. Because there is a rapid loss of species, right? When you read about the species loss, it is actually scary. I used to watch it and then I stopped watching it because it was too depressing. Watch it as an ice to trace it. They say every five minutes there is one species being lost. Every ten minutes there is one coming close to extinction. The numbers are, it won't let you sleep. So a lot of environmentalists are actually very tortured because they with the rate at which things are getting lost, it's very hard for them to even live with that fact. What about humans and plants? Complementary, not complementary? There's a question mark, right? So there's again a loss of green cover. And what about here? Humans to material. Here's a pakka, right? We're taking out the oil, the air is getting polluted. So if you, re you, if you, I'm sure all of you get that new speed. So in the past two months, the news that you get is that Delhi hair has improved today from very poor to poor category. The news ka headline hai, Delhi AQI has improved from severe to very poor. From toxic to severe. Improvement ka matlab hai, bhi severe hai. So the normalcy is gone. In fact, when we came to Dharwad, we can see there is a noticeable difference in the air quality here compared to that in Pune. It came from Bombay. Bombay se bhi aapko, because Bombay Puna is facing the same problem. There is this cloud cover that is refusing to go away. And all Bombay has been just after Delhi, right? This year. This year, Bombay has been very bad. I don't think you saw Bombay this way as you were growing up. It, it never had a smog problem. It never had a toxic air issue. So, it's gotten to a point where, uh, you know, it, it's gone beyond what humans can uh, kind of recover. The rain cycles, the quality of the what will you do if the air itself is uh, polluted? Abhi to kush ne kar sakte. You can't clean the air outside, it's impossible. So, if we extend this, we also find that so some of the issues that we had on the slide previously are to do with relationships and they are to do with problems in family. Are human families happy or you think they are on the whole somehow managing? Or are they very happy, you somewhat happy or unhappy? Hmm? Somewhat happy. So I'll just put a depends on which family. Is the human family happy with you? Is your family happy with you as a person? If I say this is you, is your family happy with your conduct? How many of you have families that are very happy? Ki kya, mere ghar mein kya santan hua? I mean, this, ekdam, this is like God sent. How many of you? Have families that think that of you? My answer is no. What about yours? In fact, even my friends didn't think of it. When we were growing up, there was only Doordarshan. So, usme Ramayana aata tha, Mahabharat aata tha. Hai na? Doordarshan wala, it would come. And in the classroom, if the teacher called out Sri Ram, the rest of the class would shout out, Sri mat kaho. 
बिकॉज जो दुर्योधन है उसके सामने समड़ी केमल से श्री राम ने यह बोला ही वुड से श्री मत कहो केवल राम है वो सो वंस माई टीचर टोल्ड मी की यू आर एवरीथिंग बट वॉट यूर नेम सिग्निफाइड I had the distinction of having been thrown out of the classroom from grade one to final year engineering, sixteen years. Not a single year in which I was not thrown out of class. And my only crime was I would sit at the back and keep talking. I mean, I was not paying attention in class, and of course, disturbing the others around me. And I would not even know that the teacher was looking at me. So, are you happy with your family? One yes. What about the other? Yes and no. There is an. If your expectations low, you are happy. No, you have to ask him where he lives. He lives in a hostel away from his family. Phone pe to sab achha hi rehta hai, boss. Saath mein reh kar dekho. Everything is nice on the phone. If you're calling on every Sunday, mummy, how are you? All good, all good. Very good, very good. What did you eat? Paratha did you eat? You ate what? Long distance phone relations are very easy to maintain. My mother really liked me till I was in Bangalore. I mean, the trouble started after I moved back to Pune, like two and a half years ago. Then there are a bunch of things about me that I don't, that she doesn't like. A bunch of her behavior that I don't agree with. I mean, simple things like how she works, huh? how she talks. We have major issues with people, and it increases. Do you think the issues that we have with people increase with time or decrease with time? It just keeps increasing, which is why we want to become small children again. Which is why when you see little children, you feel happy. Yeah, Kash may sir, 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 so carefully. Look, we're all going to the zoo. 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 <laughs> it's not that right but but they have you you think they'll be able to be that way forever no 15 years from now they'll be sitting in this room plant mein blood hota hai ki nahi hota hai kyun nahi hota hai khaunga nahi khaunga unko karna hi padega no escape if i ask them is are you happy with your parents no chance mein kyun aaye ye baat nahi sunti meri patni ki baat nahi sunti we have a bunch of problems and one of the big things that we see that we exist in humans that you find is not the case in the other setup is this expectation this expectation that we have from one another and we have expectation there is no point denying isliye india mein there was one stream of thought we said isi ko khatam karo finish off all expectations finish off all desire Don't have any desire for a nice, balanced planet. To go into a state, okay, where there is no desire. How many of us have read something like that? There's a state where there is no desire, there is no thought. How many of us are aware or have read of such a state? Kamna ki vinash mein dukh ka vinash. A lot of people trying for it. We'll we'll get there, and when we get to that point, we'll try to see. क्या विनाश होता है आई मीन वॉट रियली गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉइड इज इट अ पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन दैट स्टॉप फंक्शनिंग इज डिजाइड इन द ब्रेन दैट आई हैव टू लाइक स्टॉप इट फ्रॉम फंक्शनिंग इफ इट्स समथिंग दैट्स नॉन मटीरियल यू नो दैट आई कैन शट डाउन यूजिंग समथिंग हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस वॉन्ट टू बी इन अ डिजायर लेस स्टेट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू हैव एनी डिजायर विथ ट्राइंग यू वुड लाइक टू हैव अ नॉन डिजायरेबल स्टेट Okay, you're not sure. Oh, but you don't know what it is. But what is it? Your objective to say that ये सब बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया है ना plant life, animal life, खूद है नहीं है आप तब ख़त्म करो इसको. Not have any desire. See whether it's achievable or not is a different issue. Is it you? Would you like to be in a state like that? This is still we have. That is not happening. Otherwise, it feels something weird, you know. इसको कुछ फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता है. 
he doesn't feel so one is to have what you would call as realistic desires those desires that can be fulfilled and if they're not fulfilled it doesn't matter i won't get i won't get angry i won't get upset nothing mereko lagta hai ki aaj ye khane pe milna chahiye nahi mila bahut acha hai meri happy hai na i would like to be that way but fir bhi something like that we get into that state every night when we are in a state of deep sleep you have any desire when you are not dreaming when you are not dreaming and you get up and say i slept well last night i was stoned bhasha dete hai na aur jo drug pe ke sota usko bhi stone bolte you know you must have heard of it in young kids so would know anybody under 40 would know that grew up in a city being stoned is what ha to go high and not have any awareness there lot of amin I mean, like i said i mind mind is already one generation behind we go into that state every night do you want to continue to be like that or you want to wake up you want to wake up come back to this world to chitty problems plant life peak nahi hai world life peak nahi hai ye theek nahi or be in that state so being in it because you ask what it would be to be like in a desireless state that is the closest you can get to to imagining it the state of deep sleep that you have is very close to the desireless state that is described in this part of the continent and we can we can explain that i can explain why i'm saying that but you and i enter that state every night without our desire does it happen on its own or do you desire and get into that state apne aap hi hota hai brain circuitry mein kuch change hota hai that you will choose to lie down and sleep so you can choose to not sleep your brother is getting married it's a punjabi wedding so it's going to go through the night i'm saying punjabi wedding before raat ko shaadi hoti hai in the north mein in the south you get married early in the day in the north it ends early in the day you know ulta hai there have been some reasons for that and uh, but you we, we we are able to stay awake at night but for how long maybe two days three days and then some day the body will take over and you will crash and sleep and you will enter that state where there is no desire where you have dreams and then you are knocked out in fact the more tired you are the lesser the chance that you will have this uh dreaming state okay so i'll quickly wind this up because we also have to wind up for the day do you think society has some expectations from your family human society do you think the kutumb around you the society around you satisfied with your family and what it's doing for society mutual expectation is society able to fulfill what you expect from it what your family expects from it no we are not thinking about it at all but when you think about it what is the answer the answer is not what about between us and society is human society the way you think it should be not at all hai na if you list out the problems in society raat ko neend nahi aayegi very difficult you can't read the paper beyond the point in fact some of the news in the paper is so horrific you sometimes wonder whether that person is a human or an animal so there is a distinction we draw between human and animal ki aadmi to aisa nahi kar sakta bhai how can how can they have done this some of the news is horrifying very difficult to read so this is a big question mark is human society satisfied with how we are as people this is a question mark similarly human system how many of you happy with bangalore roads and traffic no there is a big problem right so the human expectation from human systems is a question mark do you think bangalore is happy with you kitna acha aadmi he is coming and staying in bangalore he is helping it so much helping the economy grow no they are probably happier if you leave and go back to where you came from go back to koi kodi go back to be there is too many of you get out there is no place on the road anymore on the one hand we want the economic growth we want the companies on the other hand there is no room right so if we look at it where is the problem you will find the similar situation here you will find the similar is the problem in nature or is it the problem in humans is the human problem so to look at the individual problems as well as the problem in nature as well as the problems outside we have to look at ourselves so the small nishkarsh means conclusion is we have to work on ourselves as individuals 
and that's what we'll do starting tomorrow morning okay so um, that gives us a reason to have tomorrow so otherwise we don't need a session tomorrow i mean everything is going fine and you know let's just have a party let's have a bonfire make some you know, roast some potatoes sing some song some kabir what is it some song plant some trees do some grass cutting and go back home i had a good eight day what is it called off site from my work and place <laughs> so we'll deal with all these issues all right and we'll take them step by step we'll also try to answer questions of where all this came from because if there was something or someone that made it they have a lot of questions to answer okay ki ye sab banate samay tumne ek kyun nahi socha ye kyun nahi socha ye kyun nahi socha you have at least five i mean five things that i can think of hai, that could have been better in the design right and these are large questions and if you don't answer these questions then somewhere or the other we are bothered by it. so one of the things that you can reflect on is does this even bother you or you think any human can be isolated from this not possible aap hawa se kaise isolate honge now your air is poison now how can you be isolated from it please imagine when i was in delhi we, we were going to uttarakhand we passed through delhi and the air quality was severe that day we got off at nizamuddin station and we were three people from pune we were wearing masks and we were the only fools wearing masks nobody was wearing a mask nobody bothered it was like nothing had happened they were all like waiting to die a paper may just that the previous day that somebody living in delhi loses 11 and a half years of their life on average i didn't want to lose a single second i have so many things to do right so many positive things i don't want to die like even a minute earlier or last minute bhi kuch karke marunga na yaar and and you can't stop the air it's everywhere It's inside the American consulate. It's inside the Indian. You how do you stop the air? You can't escape this reality. You can't escape this reality because you're dependent on it. In fact, you'll see that our our body is shares a lot with plants. You cannot escape this reality. You can't think of a planet without animals, and you can't escape this. Irrespective of whether you marry or not, you belong to a family. आप शादी करो नहीं करो परिवार तो है You didn't make your own. You didn't complicate the issue. इतना ही आपने decision लिया. पहले से complication है. Let it be. Let me not add to the trouble. As it is, there's a lot of confusion. And I'll let me just add. As it is, we don't know what to do with the children that are already born. Education क्या है? Content क्या है? Pedagogy क्या है? Create one more problem. बोला तू रुक जा. And I'll let me figure it out, and then I'll come back to you. At the most, right? So you can't escape society. आप जहाँ भी जाओगे पीछे आता है. They are there everywhere. You stand, he'll spit right there. In his idiot doesn't know how to stand, and he's spitting. And then, at the, I told you, we came by train. They turned on the lights at like 4:30 p.m. and started talking like we didn't exist. We <laughs> were in a cubicle. These people turned on the light and just started talking. I mean, how will you avoid? So, this person that you don't know, that you share that cubicle with, out of random event, you know. Luckily, this time we didn't get a snoring partner. Usually some people have that bad luck. वो खराटा वाला एक रहता है ना. They they continue to snore. This time the fellow who was snoring was on berth number one. I forgot to tell you. He was near the door, Gauri. इस बार जो snoring वाला आदमी था हर कोच में होता है ना. This time he was near the door and we were at berth number seventeen. हम लोग बच के. I usually shake them or I try to like uh, you know put something on their face to stop them from breathing and then that's how they break and then I try to go back to sleep. it may seem very cruel but it's not i'll explain it later you stop the nose karke wo khul jata hai and then because he is um, yeah he not aware that he is you know not letting somebody else sleep right so and 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 so and human systems will not let go of us there was something manageable which is why we were able to get here the train ran there was a road two people willing to bring you here तभी तो पहुंचे नहीं तो नहीं पहुंचते मानवीय व्यवस्था रोड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रोड एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बॉम्बे म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन बॉम्बे मेट्रो रेल कॉर्पोरेशन बीएमआरसीएल बेस्ट बृहत मुंबई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सप्लाई एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉर्पोरेशन 
कि ये सब ह्यूमन सिस्टम है यू कैन इग्नाइट ओल्ड यू नो आपको मरना है आपको आधार कार्ड चाहिए दे वोट बी एबल टू क्रेमेट यू आई ट्राई आई डिड इट एंड सॉन मैं तीन बार किया अभी आधार कार्ड मांगते पहले शोध आधार कार्ड उसके बाद जलाएंगे आपको डेथ सर्टिफिकेट ही नहीं मिलेगा यू वोट बी एबल टू क्लोज दल उस बैंक अकाउंट यू कान मतलब उसका लास्ट जो ट्रेसिस है वो खत्म नहीं होता है यू कान फिनिश इट सिस्टम इज योर आई मीन यू कैन से आई डोंट केयर मेरा आधार नहीं तो भरने नहीं देगा तुम यू हैव टू हैव इट माई फादर वॉज ट्रेवलिंग इन द मदर लॉन्ग बैक ही हैड टू गो टू डेली टू गेट अ प्रेजिडेंशियल अवार्ड होता है प्राइम मिनिस्टर था वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर था वो प्रेसिडेंट ने प्रेसिडेंट वाजपेयी ही रीच्ड पुणे एयरपोर्ट एंड ही रिलाइज ही डिड गेट माय मदर्स आई कार्ड और वो जाना था नेक्स्ट डे सेरेमनी है ना उसका एक पहले दिन ट्रायल होता है दे डू अ रिहर्सल एंड देन दे गिव इट टू यू इट्स नॉट यू जस्ट वॉक इन एंड दे विल रिहर्स द एंटायर थिंग सो नथिंग वाज रॉन्ग सो द सीआरपीएफ गाइस टॉक्ड टू मेनी सेड वेयर इज अवर आई कार्ड प्रूफ किधर है है ना माय फादर सी डज नॉट द कार्ड ही सेड इनको प्रूफ किधर है अरे पैंतालीस साल हो गया मैं ही प्रूफ हूँ यही है इसी से शादी किया था मैंने एंड देन माई फादर शोड इन दैट लेटर दैट आई एम गोइंग फॉर दिस अवार्ड एंड ऑल दैट जो भी था डी अभी करके उसने छोड़ दिया बोला सर नेक्स्ट टाइम नहीं छोड़ सकते एंड इवन इफ योर प्रूफ दैट दिस इज योर वाइफ यून इट हैज टू बी ऑन ऑन रिकॉर्ड टेबल ट्रस्ट दैट या सो वील कम बैक टू मोरो एंड एंड वील वील गो हेड सो वी वो गोन टू ब्रेक to figure out how to be of use to this place use our hands and feet for some karma abhyas it's called karma abhyas so i'll give you the names of what we're doing you want to do that what we're doing okay we'll do that tomorrow but right now we'll do this kya kar sakte hain